Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. Today we're going to talk about beam projection. And since the first flashlight was patented in 1899, most flashlights have used simple reflectors to project the light out the front of the flashlight. And reflectors are just that. They can simply reflect light or bounce it. And because they're limited to simply bouncing light around, they're very limited in their ability to control light and control the beam pattern. When more control is needed and when specific beam requirements are needed, an optical lens may be deployed. Now, not only can more control over the light be had with an optical lens compared to a reflector, but a very critical element, which we call a soft edge beam, can be achieved with an optical lens, but not with a reflector. To see what I'm talking about, take a look at these photos provided by FlashlightGuide.com. Now this photo was taken with illumination by a reflector-based 600 lumen flashlight. Notice the very abrupt boundary between light and darkness, what we call a hard edge. Now in this scenario, with this lighting, imagine there's a threat lurking by the door of the house. Looking at this photo, you might be saying, what door to the house? Well, let's look at the same situation, the same conditions, but now with an LZ Bravo flashlight. With 650 lumens going through an optical lens with a soft edge, now you'll notice you can see that door to the house. You can also see that the garage has a second door. And if you're looking for the edge of the beam, you won't find it because it gradually and naturally fades into the environment. You probably also noticed in those videos a big difference in coloration or beam tint. And we'll talk about beam tint in a future blog. But right now I want to get back to the difference between that hard edge that comes from a reflector and the more natural soft edge that's achieved through our optical lens. Now physiologically, humans encounter a phenomenon often referred to as tunnel vision when they're under high stress. And that is when your vision literally is restricted to what is like a tunnel. Now imagine you have a hard edge reflector based flashlight. That is just going to compound the problem of tunnel vision, if not create it artificially. Now with again the optical lens and a soft edge, you're going to combat that problem and have a much more natural lighting that is going to allow you to have greater situational awareness and like we talked about in those photos, spot that threat that's lurking by the door that can't even be detected with a hard edge reflector beam. Now most reflector flashlights also have a little cover lens to seal out the elements. And this is a typical cover lens on a reflector based flashlight. It's about two millimeters thick. This is the optical lens used on an LZ modular flashlight with an AVS head. It's seven eighths of an inch thick. Now, LZ is known for making the toughest flashlights on the planet. And rather than do another demonstration on how this is tougher than this, I'll refer you to a recent video by Cotton68 SPC here on YouTube. He got a great video showing an LZ modular flashlight with an optical lens made of solid acrylic and he bashes it through, bezel first, impacting the lens, a coconut. Check out that video and you'll see why LZ truly makes the toughest flashlights on the planet. Hopefully this brief video blog has been helpful. For more information, I encourage you to visit our website. Go to our written blog. You can find that at lzeta.com slash blog. Check out some more information on this topic as well as other topics. Subscribe to our newsletter on our website and be the first to know when new blogs are produced. Also, you can subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, see some of our other video blogs we've already produced and ones coming up soon. Special thanks to flashlightguide.com for providing these images. Encourage you to visit their website, check out the dozens of different apples to apples comparisons he has of beams from different flashlights with a slick little slider bar that allows you to compare and contrast in real time. Again, thanks for watching. We appreciate your time.